<laughs> what is up? Man, just What's like up, that, fellas? You know? Absolutely. Uh, Another man, I'm glad night. your microphone's working, man. For all the people, we were backstage, man. Phil's been struggling. I think he's on his phone. Are you on the phone, Phil? Yeah, I'm on the phone. You know, right? Man, it, it, the the mic was good and all that, but for whatever reason, I couldn't hear you guys. And I mean, it was it was nothing. And I'm sure it's an easy fix, but it was beyond my capabilities. So, <laughs> donations, everybody. We got the golden mic. We need the golden speaker. Let's match this up. <laughs> no shit, man. Jeez. <laughs> I think we may have to trade in the golden mic. <laughs> the Amazon, the Amazon mic ain't. Uh, man, I don't think it may look cool, but man, we need a we need a better body on the inside. I think you know. So. <laughs> the weight gave it away. You know, a whole yeah. two ounces. <laughs> a whole two ounces. <laughs> man, I'll have you know, people, this is solid plastic. Solid <laughs> plastic. High quality. <laughs> High quality. Exactly. Man, welcome everybody to Sugar Pride yeah. Show. But man, I do want to say, man, man, we're international. I posted that earlier in the week. Man, we got people listening to the podcast all over the world, so that's pretty cool. So if you're, uh, man, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple uh, Podcast, uh, we do do the show live on YouTube every Tuesday at eight Central, so you can jump in and listen to the comments or actually comment on the show. But Man, if you're driving and you're at work and man, you're moving around the city, whatever city that is, uh, and we appreciate you guys tuning in and listening. So, hey, we've got someone from Costa Rica in right now, and if Bill didn't mention it uh, tonight, we're actually going to be streaming this on uh, Facebook as well. So, I've already seen this count just shoot up. I think you're going to be it's going to be fun tonight, man. Glad to have yeah, everybody we're trying a little different. We're trying to put it on the Facebook and the YouTube, so it should be, should be streaming on both platforms. So, uh, <laughs> and I see comments on both platforms, so it looks oh, like yeah. that's happening. But uh, yeah, we we well, y'all can see uh, I can see shit on this little phone screen, but man, y'all y'all keep me posted, would you? <laughs> yeah, bottoms up, man. I'm just here to job. drink, people. Man, I'm here to do my job, <laughs> and I'm good at it. That's all right. <laughs> Uh, I tell you, the guys that we got coming on tonight, man, that's really what they're here for. They've already said, we just want Phil to get drunk, you know, because uh, <laughs> man, that's, that, that's why they're here. So, uh, man, I think there's going to be quite a few shots going on tonight, whether they're paid for or not. I think the drinks are going to be rolling, uh, especially with these two cats for sure. So oh, there's, there's absolutely no doubt. And guys, I'm going to be honest with you. I, I, season two, the way Phil's drinking, he may not make season three. <laughs> and you're just it. assuming gonna I'm going to make it to season two. <laughs> oh, we're right. we're going to get you through season two. Man, when right. is season two? Are we, is this like an annual deal, or we just do like twelve episodes? Then you're in season two. How's that work? We'll we'll just decide it when we're going to make it season. We'll make it know, up, we'll, like everything we'll, else we do on this show. We'll just make it up <laughs> after about you know twelve episodes. We'll decide, right? I like we'll it. I like it. Yeah, man, I haven't really broken it down into seasons. I think you're just going to keep rolling. And it's it's all going to be a blur anyway in the end. You know, we won't know the difference between ones and twos. And, man, any of it, it'll just all be a blur. So, hey guys, man, they, all, they three, know what episode four is. That ain't a blur. That is a blur. Episode four is a blur. <laughs> I don't know that is. <laughs> episode hey, four is not a blur. These, uh, we, we've got them coming in as fast. I, matter of fact, I can't even keep up with it. So, that's exciting. So, if I... If I skip over something tonight, people, just, you know, reping it, I'll bring it up. But uh, there's a hell of a lot of comments. That's exciting. And I think, you know, the episode four is not a blur for everybody. It might have been a blur for some people. I'm not going to mention any names, but, uh, man, everybody else is uh, having a good time with episode four. So if you missed it, go back and watch it. <laughs> man, it wasn't even a blur. I mean, it, it's non-existent <laughs> in my brain. I mean. <laughs> yeah. I I heard tell it was you, a good man, time. Yeah, it was a great time. And man, we do get now now that we're on both platforms. You notice that Wes up at the top, it shows the little <laughs> likes and the love buttons and everything. So I, I am digging that, man. There's a yeah. man, hey, like guys, and love. Finish. Look, if you're on YouTube, make sure you smash that subscribe button, hit that like button. Uh, same thing when it comes on Facebook. Anything you can do to help out, we appreciate it, man. We we feel the love, trust me. So but yeah, we're back in town, uh, man. I'm, I'm Bill Purvis, Chicken Fried Barbecue out of Magnolia, and uh, man, it's my partner Phil. He's out of Bandera with LC Barbecue. So, uh, uh, 
Man, I'm sorry. Hey guys, I have to do Sir Wes. He was going to forget me. I'm about to back out of this. Anyway. <laughs> there was something else I was going to say. I, think he, I, I think can't remember. It too, but That's I, it. <laughs> just, just He's out of this hole in the wall in Mississippi, Brandon, Mississippi. I don't know if you guys know where that's at. but uh, I'm not sure I'm an equal partner in this show. I'm, I'm starting to get a <laughs> sneaky suspicion. Man, they just want to know if you've been to the Jack, Wes. <laughs> Absolutely. So uh, I, I've ridden by there a couple of times. <laughs> man, did you update the Jack banner? Is this a new one? No, man. It's I just polished it off a little bit, put on a different it color looks a shirt. Little cleaner. It looks it's a little cleaner. Good. Yeah, yeah. Man, I'm done. I love it. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to find a different one, but this one just shines like a, a new man. Metal. You can't you can't have a different one at this point. I mean, nobody will recognize. And uh, people hey, let me uh, back, it. backstage. Smitty said he's redoing his kitchen, he was gonna ride on the wall. I've been to the Jack and you <laughs> <in his kitchen. laughs> hey, if I don't see shirts out there in barbecue world that says I've been to the Jack, we have missed this whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's too good. I love it, man. This is gonna be a hell of a show. I'm telling you, it's already getting out of control, and we hadn't even started it yet. You think it may no, be our guests just... we're bringing on? You know, it may have something to do with those two guys. Man, it Gotta might be, be but uh, I think we're getting geared up, and I only think it's going to—it's only going to get worse as we keep going. Once we bring them in, we'll recap our weekends real quick. You know, we'll circle back to uh, Car Fest where me and Phil were both at. We finished, we finished two and three. We both had a couple of calls, so uh, man, it was a pretty good weekend. Uh, and yeah, we didn't get that top spot like we always want, but. Uh, uh, Carlos smoking low ended up GC in it. And, uh, man, we'll give a big shout out to Josh. He got his first, uh, KCBS, uh, GC at Cedar park. Uh, yeah. that was pretty cool. So. <laughs> I gotta get used and, to the knee halls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a Texas little eccentric. Chrome. I'm not sure who was cooking for Texas Chrome, but they are GC Cedar park was pretty cool. So, uh, but yeah, we were down in car fest. Oh shit. Here we go. There's the first drink boys. Awesome. Oh Jesus! Hang on a second. That puts him Bigger up there. In strong. The Hall Bigger of Fame. Strong. Oh, the Wall of Fame. Man, he's going Hall of Fame with the ninety-nine. I mean, right out of the gates, we get a Hall of Famer in here. That's mm -hmm. wow. Mm -hmm. Let's uh, let's highlight this. Phil, you're boy. Going to, you're going man, to we're going to have to check here. the tires six minutes into the show. Man, I already got to need a refill. <laughs> <laughs> break his cameras. Mike's already busted. Wow. Yeah, yeah uh, appreciate it, Austin. Yeah, I appreciate that, Austin. Uh, man, we'll put that towards a microphone for Phil. So, uh, oh, there he goes. Speaker, now we're speaker. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's my favorite one, Wes. Hey, was that the same <laughs> intro music as last week, or is that new? I'm changing it up every week. Okay, I thought it was. Man, like I could, yeah, man, I think I like that one a, a touch better. But I wasn't I sure if it was the same, so it was similar. But I was I'll digging that. Bar bar, man, I, I'm trying to change it up. You got to realize. There's only so many I can pick from when it comes to your non-world. Yeah. So I try yeah, to you're going, the sitting there going down the list of the elevator music, right? Like which one sounds yeah. the coolest? Hard rock, <laughs> elevator music. <laughs> the hard rock, the rap, and the pop, they're all the same. <laughs> Different order of the notes. <laughs> Absolutely. Man, I think our buddy KP, he was at Cedar Park, but man, he ended up getting shingled. He was... Uh, Man, I think he wanted to go where we were at, but he couldn't get his money back. I think he paid like two months in advance for Cedar Park, and he realized, man, we're all going to Carfest. We're not doing Cedar Park. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. yeah, he got chingled. He had a little He had a little cooker's remorse on Sunday. I talked yeah. to him. You know, and to be honest, man, he's going to blame it. He's going to say he got homeboyed, you know. And I mean, it's the ultimate homeboy too, right? Sure shot. Man, Josh lives 15 minutes away, and man, I don't know who was cooking for Texas Chrome, but that sounds like a homeboy situation too, right? And that's what yeah. Kit's going to say. It was a homeboy situation. Well, I heard stories otherwise. Man, I heard, <laughs> man, he may or may not have face planted after a hard night of partying. Um, <laughs> man, it's unconfirmed, you know, um, but man, there's rumors but out there. You know that, he spent a fair time in Reagan's trailer, which could he, be related that, to the face plant. That's been confirmed. And, uh, you know, Kit even told me, Reagan said, Kit, come try this. You got to try this, man. It's so smooth, you know? And 
man, Kit took about six swigs, and man, the whole time he thought it was tequila, but it was bourbon. That's how smooth it was, you know, which just tells me he was fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> but he did have That's a great right. cook. It just I didn't work out. <laughs> I think um, he's missing the boat here, man. I, I, at this point, I think we've built him up. People would pay money to cook with a guy. You think so? Oh, yeah, man. I hear it every weekend. Is Kit going to be there? I mean, they don't even – is Kit going to be there? It's a question I get asked all the time, even from my yeah, class. Yeah. Man, is Kit going to be there? <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, man, probably. I, the, only, the only rule I've been told is don't drink any water out of his coolers. That's number <laughs> one. <laughs> That's where everything happens with the chicken cooling. Yeah. Yeah, you got to have an iron gut to eat anything out of that cooler. Yeah. And, and I think Kit Kit does, got man. it with him. Oh man, I bet his stomach's made. It's a cast iron skillet for sure. You know, with uh, you if he runs through those coolers for sure. Anytime um, you look at his cooler, man, you can open any of his cooler, and there's not going to be any ice in it. And he's going to go, man, it just melted. I had a bunch in there. You know, I mean, it always just melted. Oh <laughs> uh, man, I think uh, man, Arizona, they got their own form of kit, which I think. Uh, uh, I think Smitty will talk about uh, Phil because I think Smitty was telling me that man we've got our own we've got our own kit. Uh, but man, we'll bring those guys in and uh, we'll let's start chopping it up with some of these. Uh, you got some intro music for these boys or something, Wes? What? Hey, we, we can put some on here for damn sure. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. They deserve a little music. Boys, <laughs> Come on, Gator, rock number seven. Oh, shit. I love it. I love it. What seven up, boys? How it's all doing? good, man. What's up? <laughs> What's up, Fergie Ferg? What? What's up? Smitty? I haven't seen you in a while. It's been like a yeah, week, right. It's been like yesterday. <laughs> and y'all, yeah, y'all you practically live country. together these days. <laughs> he's like, he's like my. Age. You know those twins that have like another one attached to them? <laughs> <laughs> conjoined like, twins. Man, we're like 12 right minutes here, into the show and we already got a conjoined twin comment. Dude, I mean, Jesus, right out the gate. You think I get married by now? Barbie so guys, how you? No, it's all good. You guys have been touring around, been pretty busy, and man, kind of playing off each other, different group classes and whatnot. Yeah, were y'all uh, were y'all in Costa Rica together too, or no? Was that right? Or Absolutely. No? I'm pretty sure yeah. we were. Yeah. I mean, I was there most of the time. I'm sure Fergie was there. What's really cool is, I think Fergie and I we talked about this. This is maybe our tenth, twelfth class that we taught together. The last one we did at Wanamaker's. Um. But it's awesome. I love like cooking with uh, Ferg. He's an amazing cook. He's a, 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 an awesome friend of mine. I consider him my barbecue brother. I've seen him do magic with a brisket that looked like a <laughs> like a, a, a tenderloin, and it was just zero. And he 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 does what he does, and so it's awesome yeah. to cook with him to see what he does. And I think we have a good chemistry, a good fun. We, I think we both love barbecue. We love to have fun. We're like you know, just what all this is and it works well together when we teach together so yeah i love cooking with fergie it's an amazing time i don't know what he thinks about me ah, man i don't man. know but the conjoined twin thing is making a lot more sense now the way y'all are talking about each other you know like fergie's riding <laughs> yeah, around on his shoulder who's the dominant one who's who, who's claiming the legs <laughs> i mean <laughs> exactly it depends on the location and, hey, and it's how much you had to drink the worst on the location the worst. The worst and, part and, the time, and I'm sure the time of night as well. So, uh, how, many, how many, like, if I did like a handful of gummies, I don't know, maybe one or two, mostly it's a handful. <laughs> one or two handfuls. I let Bernie just take the lead and I smile. Oh, and Phil, you got you to gotta tell the drill, you got to tell the drilling story, Phil. You got to tell that. <laughs> drilling. <laughs> drilling G, Bill. Drilling G. Get it yeah, right. You got to tell it. Get it right. Well, Fergie, Fer, Fer, what do you think about our our classes that we do together? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> I mean, ditto, man. It's uh, one, one of the things that we talked about when we were in Costa Rica after we got done with that class. We were just kind of sitting on this little wall and drinking an Imperial, which uh, <laughs> is the is the is the official beer of the whole country. And uh, we uh, we just kind of sat there and looked at each other and we just like, 
there's, no, there's really nobody else out here doing what we're doing right now. Like, and it was a, it was a good feeling. We, we, uh, to teach a comp barbecue class to 32 Costa Ricans with a, with a translator translating everything, which I had to keep slowing Smitty down because the translator was like, uh, trying to say, how do you make him stop talking? <laughs> and I was like, I, can't. I was like, Smitty, <laughs> say something don't. and then let him translate and then say something. But anyway, we got into a rhythm and, and, yeah. uh, Definitely. It was a great time. And I think Aaron, I think it on, he's actually on here right now. Yeah. He just, he, uh, he commented on the chat there, but, uh, it was, it was great, man. From Costa Rica to Chicago, yeah, yeah. And, uh, Kansas city to wherever we teach at Arizona, wherever it is, man. I mean, we don't, we're at the point now where we don't even write shit down. We just show up and freaking rock the class and, and just do it. yeah, we do what we do. I love yep, it. Exactly. It's, it's been an amazing time and you know, there's a lot more to come. Baby. And y'all, do y'all have any more scheduled out? That are on the uh, schedule or not? Not right we have now. Some tentative. We have tentative yeah. things on the books, okay. but nothing okay. in full in full form right now. I think both of us right now, we started the year off like teaching classes. I think I'm getting into several comps. I know Fergie's got comps coming up. We're both gonna do Memphis in May, Smoke Slam. And I got several in you know Nevada and California. So it's kind of the time when out west the shit starts, you know. So I got several comps that I'm kind of prepping for. And but this past weekend, I just taught my 135th class here in Aaron, Arizona, which is kind of crazy. That's crazy. That's Man, you just crazy. hit your 100th last year, right? Right, Smitty? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Man, and so you're already, that, you know, within a time, year, 35 classes deep. That's that's grinded, baby. That's grinded. It, it was nothing but like making this shit happen, which we've done for years. And Fergie will attest to that is it doesn't come easy, it doesn't come quick. And you know that. But over the time, we've built that, that, you know relationship with a lot of people that we do business with and then they, they love it and we love it we love spreading knowledge and love and joy thing we do and that's what barbecue to me is about you know if it's not about that then why are we here you know man and i know Fergie, you're going through kind of a re is a rebranding ferg is that right i noticed you got a different instagram page uh and you got new labels and new bottles Got a new rig coming. I can't wait to see the new rig. I, I like the pictures. You know, I can't wait to see that guy. So yeah, man, it's been uh, <laughs> that re that rebrand's been like over a year three. in the making, and and uh, all my rubs are the same. Just new name, new new labels. Uh, um, so, so yeah, super excited. Those are starting to come out on the shelves and and kind of get out there in the mix. And um, I, yeah, I created a Instagram and Facebook page just for the brand, but uh, uh, just slowly getting some merch out we got stickers out we got some new shirts out just put those out today um the new rig should be done here in the next week or two hopefully um and then we'll get it down to yoder and and get it uh get it loaded up with a new stick burner and a pellet grill and and uh be ready to the, the first it's day it's going to debut at smoke slam in memphis so uh we'll gotcha. be doing our whole, our whole shoulders and our baby backs on on those pits so um that's yeah, good that's to exciting. know. Now I got a mule. But hey, well, let me know when your old trailer gets down to 12G and call it, hit up your. Oh, board. I already sold it. I already sold it. <laughs> oh, shit. All right. Uh, yeah. 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 All right. I, so, I, hey, you're going to smoke. He slam. sold it for 10. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you missed out on 2G. <laughs> oh, you, so, hey, can you, can you mule me some like items? Me and Phil the Grill are coming in hot. That's feeling booties. Oh girl, shit! So are y'all both food. cooking smoke slam or what? Are y'all both? Yeah, together. Smoke? We're a team. We're co we're co okay. filling okay. movies. Oh, uh, ours, we're, we're not. <laughs> okay, you're not a team. Or not. No, Smitty no, two different Fergie. teams. Yeah, two Fergie's different teams. Who are you cooking with, Fergie? Fergie and Mikey yep. and Tank. I'm cooking with uh, uh, our team's called Swine Ontology. I'm cooking with uh, Tank Jackson from Holy City Hogs and and Mikey from Sugar Fire and um. You never know who else is going to show up, but I mean that's the three main right Dang there. People so. who are going to distract you, basically. <laughs> and have y'all done it before? <laughs> have y'all cooked Memphis in May or whatever? We have, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We've cooked with Sugar Fire actually last year together, me, Fergie, and Mikey, and then the year before that, me and Mikey cooked um, Memphis in May. You know, this is the re first year at Smoke Slam, and at yeah, so y'all doing Smoke Slam, right? Yeah, not, absolutely. Not the Memphis in May. Y'all going with the one with all the money. How many teams uh, do they yeah. have? Or 70 70 something teams 70 and you know what honestly i had no affiliation really with memphis and may it didn't you know I'm, we're from here i'm out west you know i'll do whatever yeah. i want 
So, <laughs> so I love it. We're, 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 like it is, go, we're going for a check, baby. You know, they got some money. It's like 250 G. I'm yeah. going to know. We're out there going for checks. Why yes. not? Right. 70, Why not? dude, 60, 60 K for GC, 15 K for a category win Let's in the go. three main meets. But the cool, the cool thing about Smoke Slam versus uh, Memphis and May is that Memphis and May, you cook one category. You either you pick hog or you pick rib, you cook shoulder. At Smoke Slam, we're cooking all three, cook all, three. all the ancillaries. So you got you got multiple you shots. Make up at, your own category there. <laughs> you make up your own category. Yeah. You just turn something in. Like, what the fuck is this? Man? I don't know. Sea creatures. Yeah. Cross my fingers. And, and first place in sea creatures category. Exactly. The only one that turned in. And somebody turned in a whole lamb at Smoke Show. We don't know who it is, but they like smoked a whole lamb and burned it in. Man, Mary had a little lamb. Keyword had. Yeah, it's not anymore. It's just, you're eating the bitch. Stop <laughs> it. So, uh, I don't know if we can curse or not, but who was that? This is what we That's do. Wes with the sound effects. That's producer Wes with the sound effects. Has he been in the chat? That, that freaked me out, man. That freaked me out. I hate to say he put one too many gummies before that. He's like, shit, I'm hearing people. Uh, man, he, <laughs> man, he had Fred right on his heels, so he went and did a whole week of just like, you know, <laughs> podcast producer training, and now he's got all this cool shit. Oh, yeah, yeah, coming, yeah, we like it. I love See, it. I, 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 the chicken, dig it. I break Phil shit. I took I took his speaker right out. See that? When you I kind of love. I kind of love that you said fuck the banner. I'm just gonna like photo impose my body onto a Jack Daniels <laughs> world championship logo, <laughs> and nobody photo impose notice. my body. Except, I got, I got half my break body. Break. Except when half my body goes away, like it's like Back to the Future, and the pitcher's losing, like. You know, they're not there anymore. Man, Wes, you know? this is a producer question. Man, if they were conjoined twins, would both of their heads be up there with the banner or just one of them? We can make it. <laughs> with what, a few more donations, we can make anything happen. AI, man, man, can you, AI, but man, I in the background, here, can you man, work on a photoshopped conjoined twin of these two? And I, before I, the end I, of the show, can we have it? Absolutely. I, will make <laughs> I, want be, I love I want it. Be, I want to be the bull. Though. I want to be the bull. I want to be the bull. <laughs> Fergie's well, up on his shoulder going, man, let me take lead tonight. You be my wingman just one time. Uh, Fergie, right, can hey, you listen. get off on this? I got to win one time. I'm like, nah, come on. Well, hey, hey, someone asked, wanted to know if you guys, after you're doing Smoke Slam, are y'all hey, going to come? Hey, hey, listen, guys, man, we had somebody that made a little Sorry, donation. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Man, know, we got, we got a monetary you, contribution. It's a big yeah, deal. We got, it is. Uh, producer should be watching these things, you know. I, I, I can only be in one of these things at one time, boss. Man, he's yeah, in the background photoshopping. Well, thank you, buddy. Yet, so. Thank you for the donation. I'm pretty sure I see zero percent of any of that, but hey, man, it's all good. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, Manuel. No, we're, we're on the same yeah, page, man, well. We and you get uh, the same appreciate it, man. Zero percent of nothing is zero. Uh, and I tell you, I just bought a new vehicle. I'm getting a new truck with all these donations. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, my lame ass equipment's broke over here. Can't yeah, even get a decent, all these decent guys got speaker. And, yeah. and I, I think about I getting a new rig. You know? <laughs> well, the, the question for you two guys is uh, are y'all going to the Invitational after Smoke Slam? I am. Uh, uh, he is because he's right there, man. You know what I'm saying? Right. You know what? I would if it was closer. Honestly, being in Arizona, it sucks for me. There's a comp every Memorial Weekend in Boulder City that I've done. Actually, Fergie's done it. Actually, came out a couple of times right outside of Vegas. I've done that. There's comp another for the drink, last boys. Ten plus years. Jesus, thank you. Bigger but I've done that comp for the last ten plus years. I've GC'd seated twice. Uh, I've seated seated a couple of times. But um, to me, I'm gonna save my East Coast trips for the uh, the America Royal. Look at all the ones. <laughs> oh, no, baby. <laughs> oh, I'm some dirty stripper money right, right here. Where is it? Fergie on a Friday night. I don't, um, can, I don't know if you can pause it, but there I'm going to save my the time way. to drive out. <laughs> yeah, pause it. Pause it. it. Pause it. Uh, how do you get a word in with any of these dudes, Wes? I know. Right? How do you control these motherfuckers? Hey, I'll, I'll take care of them. I'm going to pause and meet everybody so Smitty can get his. his, his his answer out. Um, uh, he asked about the world championship 
for his answer going, takes obviously. an hour. But hey, man, that's passion. It was a good answer, though. I mean, I heard you better talk quick, Smitty. Somebody else is about to donate. Somebody Uh, heard me at least. Thank you, Wes. I am listening. He's saying he doesn't like to drive. We got another donation from Mr. Grant. How much I drove? Oh, Grant. Oh, talk to me. (laughs) I crap on that trailer. (laughs) His trailer does look pretty fucking sick. You know, his trailer does look sick. But that trailer will be at Memphis in May. Is to like, yeah. work, you know, co- the coffers got to be buffed up, and we're trying to get us drunk, and like, just I don't even know if we talked about anything barbecue. Have we not? So the question yeah. was, and the answer I believe was, you're not going to it because you've had so much no, success. Sir. You're letting everybody else. You right? I got, well, no, man. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to get a call here and there, but um, <laughs> <laughs> you know how it is, but uh. No, it's a, it's a long way away. I got um, a comp I've been doing locally for 10 plus years, so I'm not going. Yeah, But if it was closer, it's a different weekend, I'd probably think about it. Absolutely. I got an invite. So, you know, yeah, absolutely. I want to go, but it's it's hard for a motherfucker. That, hey, we can make that happen, boss. You just you just I mean, got to say, we get you some equipment there. I know that, but I already got a commitment that weekend. I got a call. Okay. Fair enough. Already. That was one of the questions from the audience. They wanted to know what your plans were. Yeah, the audience I wants you to drink. Nevada, I think, it's really what, I think the audience years. wants a drink. Yeah. So I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Fergie take that one. I mean, can I just leave the banner up before I exit right quick? We're just not taking it down. I mean, leave it up, bro. Leave the money. I like the that. answer. Hey, the answer to the question about going to World of Invitation, I'm gonna go there and two time that bitch. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah, confidence. Ferg's He's already calling his one. shot, boys. Yeah. Berg just sent it. So, Stop it. Bay Bruce, Bay Bruce, you've been warned. You you've been warned. Actually, you, you know go. what? If you don't come to win, why do you even go? Right? To every comp. If you don't come there to win, if you don't have that mindset of going in to kick this We don't show up ass, a second. Absolutely not. We're there to do what we do. You know that, bro. We've cooked together. I love the drillingies. We, we, we do the drillingy thing. <laughs> yeah, we do. Arizona, it was a badass time. I loved you coming out, man. <laughs> oh, shit. We got to tell it. We got to we gotta crack the code for it. There's only like a handful of people that know what Drill and G even is. There is. <laughs> and Drill and G is. And, and, if, and if, you know, for everybody who looks at my stuff and, and Smitty's stuff, man, they got to see the drillings. I mean, because we do it basically on Alien. every post that we do for each other. And, Alien. man, so a couple years ago, I was headed out to Yuma to do that KCBS comp there. And I had text Smitty, yep. yeah, 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 we'll be there, man, holler, you know. And that's the one Robert Rocha rode with me. So we're driving, we're somewhere in New Mexico, or maybe it was Arizona, maybe we were getting like a few hours Same. out. So, man, I text Smitty, man, what are y'all doing? You know, hey, where, where are y'all at, what are y'all doing? And man, he texts back, drilling G. And man, I looked at it, I'm like, hmm. Man, I don't know what the fuck that is. You know, yeah, I do a little Google search, make sure it ain't one of them terms these people use these days, and I just don't know about. And I'm like, man, fuck, Rob, what do you think? He's like, fuck, I don't know either, bro. You know, and then so I don't know. It was like an hour later, and man, we're just racking our brains on this drill and thing, thinking really? maybe it's an Arizona thing. I don't know. Yeah, and, and then drilling. Molly gets on there. Hey, it's Molly. He fucked up, man. He can't even type. He was trying to say drinking. We're drinking. <laughs> and he typed drilling G. <laughs> Man, so now it's just drilling G forever. We just went but with then, it. So. But then after that, she sent an alien face out of the blue for no random reason. Yeah, so yeah, it yeah. Drilling G alien face. So now it's drinking is yeah. G. But with drilling G and aliens, baby. Yeah. Drilling G and aliens. Alien is not abnormal. I love aliens. I mean, we, we talk, talk about, we talk about aliens sometimes. in our comp classes. You know what I, I talk about? Because people in comp classes, some talk about like, you know, we got to do this at this time and this temperature and all. I say, you know what? When the earth tells me it's time to <laughs> set my bunker, you know, that's when I do it. Not 19 minutes, not 27 minutes. When the earth is like, Smitty, guess what? Check some shit out, you know. Oh, <laughs> man. Smitty's got some KP in him. Smitty's got yeah, some yeah. KP in him. Oh, a lot. I mean, it's just. I mean, bro, man, what was he talking know. about with that earth stuff, man? Were you writing that down? Were you, where was he going with that, it's man? It's not even right downable. It's not right like, downable. Like, wow, man, the shit this soul. guy knows is unreal. Because it hits your soul like a different level. <laughs> <laughs> you can't even write it down. You don't even know what to write down. There's no pen that can write that down. <laughs> right, Ferg, you know what I'm talking about. 
Uh, yep, I do. Know. Yep, yep, I love it. Yep. I As my conjoined it. twin, you know what I'm talking about, right? <laughs> we, we, we share a liver. I'm we share we a liver. <laughs> Man. Right, well, I don't think you. one's going to be enough. <laughs> yeah, we share the same yacht. If we share the same lungs, you're fucking done, though. <laughs> Man, one liver ain't enough for me alone, and I know one liver you boys can't share, so... I'm yeah, glad you got your own lungs, man. Uh. <laughs> Thanks for all the donation, guys. We're here for your yeah. pleasure. <laughs> pleasure. We're like we're like drinking clowns that people throw money at. <laughs> like, like I love it. Now, so what Ferg, exactly what, what are, are y'all drinking? Next, what are y'all drinking? What are you drinking on, Ferg? What are you sipping on? Yingling. 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 Uh, I got yeah. uh, you know I love Tito's vodka. I usually like unsweet tea, but I'm switched it up. I got a little um, Hawaiian punch, fruit punch, oh, and shoot. Tito's vodka. So we're, you know, I need a little vitamin C in my life. I'm trying to stay away from scurvy. What? I need a little bit of, you know, fruit. I haven't had a banana in like seven years. You know, I'm not trying to brag about it. I'm just what are you saying. drinking, Bill? Fruit. Man, I, I got to go get a drink out of the fridge. Hang on, and I'm gonna take All a right, whiz. I got to go check. I got to check the tires. Oh, All right, now, now, Phil, you got to carry this show like I carry uh, Ferg in these. Oh cars. my God! <laughs> oh, my back ain't that big. <laughs> <laughs> we can know, all take Ferg. a break. <laughs> oh shit! Can we really? This is actually a legit. Bill looks thirsty. Actually, man, Fergie, Wes has been working overtime on the sound joke. effects. I pre planned that joke, Fergie, and I just had to throw it in somewhere. So I was just waiting <laughs> for the right time. I'm trying. Look, I, I didn't expect we get Smitty and Ferg on here. I'm back over here just hustling, man. I can't keep up with the shit <laughs> I'm trying to do. Uh, I, I haven't had to work like this. Yo, my kids got. Man, Fred's in the comment. Put me in, coach. Animals the tonight. Booty, I just don't know that. Fun that you can like, donate to. I got a trailer to pay for. Yeah, <laughs> I'm trying to get kids to college. I, forget, I don't even know if uh, Bill knows about this and uh, sound, but we'll, we'll worry about that later. Pink I hope drink. I got some right on that. <laughs> All right, I'm yeah. out. Boy. Hey, I All forgot. Right, we're back. I forgot, Wes. You're you. Wes lives in Brandon, Mississippi, right? That's correct. I remember winning a contest there one year. I remember you coming here and winning it too by seven and, fucking points, and you Stop got reserve. You were, I did. Yeah. You brought Mama Ferg down to the reservoir, man. And uh, yep. that was the first time I had a chance to drink the pink drink that you used to give out. Maybe you still give it out. Uh, you mean you gave out the Fergolade. Fergolade is red. red. I think I got a watered down one. It was pretty pink. sure there was a <laughs> I watered I down one. Water. Watered down with <laughs> milk. <laughs> pretty sure right. that shit, but I stay yeah, with yeah. Matter of fact, you should bring your ass back down here to the Brandon when we're having. It was it, it was in Brandon, excuse me, and we moved it to Brookhaven. If you got fur gold aid, you got fur gold fucked up. Yeah, I did. Well, he, man, he, West, he is that the one with the big payout? <laughs> well, the one in Brookhaven is actually a pretty good payout. The one that we're going to next week, look, I, I love the cause of it, smoking for downs, but I think it's paying out about 300 bucks. Uh, you know, no, it's, it's, we're trying to get it up. Those there. Down, I think those it's about cause, five, right? six feet. Good cause, man. They can't all be. Is that U.S. dollars? <laughs> We're not sure. Like I said last episode, it's, the, it's the money that jingles that doesn't fall. <laughs> Man, it's ten thousand pesos. <laughs> you get credits to the village. Man, to start putting shit on pesos market. on the flyers, it looks like more money. <laughs> A couple of IOUs in there. You better hold on to that one. That was mm -hmm. shit. Just yeah, a bit in a briefcase right? that makes it look fancy. Right. And it paid you to roll the corner. We need to get you boys over here to cook some in the dirty south a little more. Uh, I think these well, people over here love you. I would Smitty, love and, to. Uh, Smitty and I were talking about doing a comp together under a different name. We are thinking either, uh, what do you guys think? Let's ask the crowd here to, to put it in the chat. Like Conjoined Q. Conjoined <laughs> Q. <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's nothing better than Conjoined Q. It's well, got to be Conjoined Q. It's, it's got to be, well, man. We were thinking more like... Think. We were thinking more like either Fergan Booty or Bootylicious. I like two heads, one dick. <laughs> <laughs> what if we got four balls? Which is really conjoined Q, if you think about it. We'd be off balance if we had four balls. We wouldn't know one where we walk in circles. One liver barbecue. 
Damn. Hey, thank you. The possibilities are endless. Hey, uh, need a need a new liver barbecue. You know, you drinking me out, boys. I got a refill. I'm going to send you boys an invoice after this uh, podcast. <laughs> Where's Carmen? Y'all welcome to episode four replay. Because when oh, we yeah. hit about 45 yeah. minutes, Phil, he will hit this number right here, boys. Keep up. This is what he looked like on episode four. I love that. <laughs> that I remember watching that episode, and it was like the time of my life. Yeah. And I was yeah, like, he, you know what? His mom was not proud of him and let him know about it from what we told him. I mean, I'm sure all of our moms are not proud of us in many times in our lives. <laughs> right. but, you know. uh, Roni on there said Smitty Licious. That that sounds a little biased. I mean, uh, I, it is, but I kind of like it. I do. I, I bet mean, you do. You like it. I'm, I'm just me. Smitty Well, Richardson. you brought up mom. Are you still bringing mom yeah. for, with you to comps? Is she still traveling or what? Uh, I mean, she probably will a little bit. I'm. I've only got like 21 KCBS on the schedule this year, so I'm not doing that many. 21, but. that's a lot. Yes, 21. That's a lot. <laughs> it's not that many, bro. She that's 21. a lot. Not my world, dude. How many like, do you I have, Wes? I did 40 last dude, I, year. I talk about it 15. I mean, I, I'm the broke bro, I don't get paid on this me. show. I'm the same. 12 to me is a, is a good year. If, if like, 15 is time. where we top out. I think the most you know, I ever did one year was when I was like in 2013 or 14 when I, you know, was doing shit. It may have been 20 fucking two max. Yeah. You know, when I hear about Fergie and these guys doing like 40, 50, it just like it blows. How my many mind. have you done this year so far, Ferg? Have you done many this year or no? I just did yeah. hogs for the cause this last weekend. That was it. But um, yeah, oh man, I'm just I mean, I'm just waiting on the new trailer already this year. But I don't. I'm, mine are sporadic. You know, really? So I'm you'll do three or four real quick, and then you'll have a. You're like me. I'll do one, skip a month, do two. You know, and it just no, as no. they pop up. Absolutely. I'm just trying to be like, like, like that. Is at the beginning we have Slab of Rama in January. It's a pretty decent event. 60, 70 teams come out. It pulls a lot. We have a uh, Yuma in March, and then um, there's what else did we do? Um, there's one in California. I, I got yeah. worked. In that. I think it was Indio, but. Um, now summer's happening. Arizona's dead, but California's starting to pick up. So we're, we're going to have a few in California before it goes on. Memphis in May or Smoke Slam, like Fergie talked. I'm going to be competing with Phil. We're filling booties. You know what I'm saying? Why, why would we not be? That's the best. Team <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm just trying to be I'm just trying to be like Phil and Bill where they cook like – I think they do like four or five comps a weekend. It's like <laughs> – <laughs> All I see is like – hit one on Friday. Like it's, like a, it's like a – it's like church – it's like church yeah. in the south. Like I got a comp Thursday night, real quick. Gonna pop in one on Friday, Saturday. I I know, stop in. Like, There's a revival on Sunday. In and Texas, like, they have like seven comps in the weekend, bro. In Texas, you can have like eighteen comps in one weekend, and you're like, you "Can I got? That's I got awesome like that they have that opportunity to do that." I got know? like eight reserves, and I got like coming from a guy who lives in Kansas City in the middle of America, who has one within like a stone's throw every weekend uh, come summer. So I, I would stop your bitching. I I do. We got. Yeah, a, we we got them every day of the week. Uh, they don't have them every day of the week because because we would go. Yeah. <laughs> we wouldn't have a podcast. Yeah, we'd probably die. He's like, I, I wouldn't even know what to do in my life anymore. The podcast Boy, would be from somewhere up. in Texas. Money box. We're getting big money. Yeah. Right? Holy shit! I mean, hey, man, hey, I'm gonna have to run to the liquor store, boys. It's eight forty. I got twenty minutes to regroup. You think this motherfucker get a mic? And, and you know what I'm saying? You got <laughs> the time. Hey, and like, Ferg, me just like better. This is going to make it ain't happy. plugged in, but it looks more professional. We don't split none of the money at the end of the show. So, I mean, I was so hoping yeah. that's not me. Is it like a it's wild like a child? Is it like I a thought it was like a wild child. I put in. I put in. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to show you oh, a picture yeah. of Bill's new shower. Hey, shower. We have a great wild child story, actually. Yeah, Smitty's all about the wild child. The money. I love I Well, hate, Phil and Bill were there. I love it at the same time. Phil and Bill were there. Man, we probably got to tell some of these. We got to tell some of these people what the wild child like is. Glass. Man, right, not everybody this. knows what a wild child is. I got this. So we might so, need to explain the wild child. Since I'm so a the wild child, show, Fergie talk about it. the wild child is a side bet, and <clears throat> at a normal contest, it's twenty bucks a person. And then when we come over and do my nine twenty two shot, I've got four cards, one with each category of meat on it. We randomly draw, draw one, whichever meat comes out. Most contests that do it the right way pay top 10. So Wild Child is for 11th place just out of the pay. So um, if you're in the pot and 
you know, not everybody gets in the pot, you know, like sometimes when you're in Lubbock, Texas, and you're the Kansas City guy and you're walking around and you're like, hey, do you want to get in the wild child? And then people just look at you like you're a fucking crazy person. Like, what's a wild child? And then your friend who's right next to you, hey, hey, you want to get in the wild child? And he's like, well, what, what is that? What place is that? And I go, 11. That mean? He's like, I don't get 11. I don't get 11. I don't get 11. I don't get 11th place. And I'm, I'm like, betting on myself to get 11. Like, Why would I do that? I'm like, Spitty, it's, it's like a, it's a luck thing. Like, you can get 11th in that category and still GC the contest. I've done it. I get it. I get and it. so get it. we get everybody to pay in the contest, including Bill and Phil. And then right at the end, we said, oh, we're only $20 short. And he goes, how much is the pay? And I said, like six something. He goes, okay, I'm in. He goes, I'm in. He goes, put me in. So I pay for him. And then we ah, go to fucking awards. Get credit. And he get gets credit. freaking wild child. And I just hand him the money. And I'm like, you got to be kidding me, man. <laughs> But that's well, how man, the at shit at the Royal Oak works. Invitational. You know I know somebody that raked the wild child, huh? The alien Remember the Royal Oak the Invitational? Oh, yeah, two years Her ago. That was oh, uh, he killed it on the wild child and won the contest. You know, that's called karma, <laughs> Park. See, it comes back to you, it hits me, it comes back to you. We all fight. it's a circle, it goes around, it's like a carousel from the earth, from the earth, from the earth. Oh, the earth comes from the earth. It's good time. <laughs> And alien forefathers were like, listen, bro, listen, listen to me. Listen to me. It'll tell you when to do. Like, wrap that shit. Do whatever. Just do it. That's like our body. <laughs> I'm very hey, ethereal. I'm, I'm very this. Like, listen to this. Listen to the meat. Barbecue will tell you if you just, like, give it time. People I'll tell you this. Like, worried about that's the real stringing note right emotion. there is listening to the meat, huh? That's listen what, to it. It'll that's write that the down, show. people. It'll yeah, tell write it down. To listen to it. So, Be Smitty, I got a question for you, Smitty. Yes, sir. Man, man, rumor is, you know, somewhere around Arizona or in that circle you run out there, man, you guys have a KP. Do you yeah. guys have uh, a kit Colt uh, out there? We have uh, a, a cat who's a look at Molly Ma look at doing a little cameo. What up, Molly? Oh, yeah. uh, we got a what up, cameo, Molly? Cameo, little cameo. She's uh, going for a swim uh, back there? No, she's like, I don't, oh, there she goes. Molly. <laughs> You got a $20 drink from my mom. Mm. There you go. We have an anomaly barbecue out store. here. That's the barbecue store in Hempstead. I was just there. I watched the eclipse there. And, man, we were just staring at a freaking parking lot. Uh, parking lot. Uh, but I was there when it yeah. happened. You know, we, we have what's called a barbecue anomaly out here. And it's called Phil the Grill. And this Phil dude, the Grill. Phil the Grill. <laughs> he, I, I feel like he's very Kit Polk-like where he don't kind of know He's, he knows i think he knows a lot more than we think he knows you know what i'm saying it's yeah. kind of like an underground like savant <laughs> if you will in a way and phil will show up like 10 minutes before some shit not know anything borrow everything from you and like get some calls and you're like how does this dude even like exist in life <laughs> you know what i'm saying his, his best friend is also eric b and rakim i mean yeah well i, I mean me and smitty but Listen, he's very like shit. Just I mean, he doesn't think about it. It just is what it is, right? Isn't that what like That's some of these? One hundred percent what he is. It, yeah, and I love him for that because you can't hate that because that's his style. That's his way. That's how he gets through life, and I love it. And we're cooking smoke slam together because <laughs> we work together well. I understand his his flow, Jay Z of barbecue flow. You know what I'm saying? Man, does he have a black box he keeps like seasonings in? There's I don't know what he actually I don't know anything he does. It's very just like does he borrow stuff, stuff from people all the time? Does he borrow things? One hundred percent of everything that's he borrows that's is all of ours. He's all of ours. Now, when you say you borrow, that's in like he gives back whatever he borrows or replaces no, it. No, no, actually, or he sorry, basically sorry. just uses hey. it and then goes to the next comp and in People around don't have, have as much again. anymore. That's, you nailed it. You nailed it. That's your energy right there. You nailed it. There's no borrow. It's just I'm going to take this and this is what it is. But we do that because why? We love him, the motherfucker. He's my family. He's yeah. my home. All right? That's what, I think that's what's unique about this whole community. And and then Fergie and I talk about this in like comp classes. Is that what we do is unique. It's like we're competing against each other, but we're friends, we're homies, we're family. We're I don't I don't want to beat you, but man, I'm there to win. 
Well, man, come over. What you need, man? I got you. This is what this is what right. barbecue is, and that's why I love it. That's one of the reasons I love it. Is I love all you motherfuckers because <laughs> you're me. And people will ask me, "Is like, oh, like, tell me about this. You're competing against these guys. I'm like, these guys are me. They're fucking everything <laughs> I love about barbecue, man. Drinking and having a good time and cooking meat and doing this. Is that's that's what it's about. So, man, cheer. I I put in. I'm gonna put in twenty bucks for us to drink right now. Oh, shit. Right Fuck, I was getting thirsty. I didn't think I'd ever drink again. <laughs> All right. I don't know how to do the $20 thing. But <laughs> don't worry. Good. Bill Fail. figure a way to suck it out of you. <laughs> yeah, we'll we'll figure out how to get it. Don't worry about it, Smitty. We'll get I'll it some <laughs> way. I'll, I'll, I'll put it on my next game changer rub order. I'll add an extra 20 Game over. <laughs> Stop it. Here goes Wes again. Stop it. Oh, yeah. My next Blanco. My next Blanco order. Do the ye do the yeehaw, Wes. Yeehaw. All right. So everybody from Texas, can you please comment if you want to keep that yeehaw or get another yeehaw? <laughs> Fuck. Wes, Wes is just over here pushing buttons, man. Man, Wes is on the wrong that, channel. That wrong show, Wes. That. Wrong show. No, 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 Phil. That was the Mississippi yeehaw. <laughs> that was going to be my question. I got some stuff in here I can't push. I may have accidentally pushed the wrong one last week. You got to go watch that episode. <laughs> yeah, I think yeah, one of those sound effects you pushed last week was maybe a little bit questionable, I think, you know. <laughs> Which one was questionable? Yeah, it was a little yeah. X rated, I think. Uh oh. Mm. Oh, no. yeah, I might have. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. <laughs> that, I mean, what, where are we at? Where are we? Uh, oh, this is the one one Smitty would oh, like that one. He's like, where are we? At? 20 more bucks. <laughs> Man, rumor is you can't get kicked off the internet, but we're going to try and find out. <laughs> yes, right. if, if your hey, you guys got to drink up because they are rolling in. in. Oh, Cherry no. Anchor. That's my boy, uh, Joe. Hopefully see you this yeah. weekend. Man, I'm going to have to get a little mini keg like Fireball Lacey. You know, hey, I got to get a little mini keg or something. No, 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 no. For reals, we need to talk about some split, like, equity situation here. I got a finance background. Man, Smitty's starting to see far. all those yellow comments <laughs> going, yeah, fuck, boys, going man. On. Started off the oh, show, real, and I'm yeah, thinking, you know, no real, big deal. But now it's like, real. man, well, how are we splitting this up? How are we chopping this up? business ain't cheap. You know, guys know this. <laughs> yeah, we're, man, we're all business. on a barbecue fucking budget over here. Got, and 20 bucks is 20 bucks, boys. I got nine jobs. Chop it up, you know. <laughs> exactly. I got nine jobs, all barbecue related. <laughs> and KP's in the background wanting to cut, you know. Well, hey, Fergie, how are you? What are you doing? What do you got behind you? You got a, like a piano back there. Your head's cutting out. You're you're getting like Back to the Future. You got to fit. And he's at Western Are you going, AI? Are you going AI on me? <laughs> Wait till you see the dead body on the bed. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there he goes. Uh, Look at him getting fancy. There's my new shirt. Rich uh, Mahogany. Here's my old pool. Here's my old pool. It's been here for 20 years. Rich Mahogany. All right, we're going we're <laughs> to uh, we're gonna make the shirt of y'all's new team. I got the logo right here, boys. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's I Man, you got to put their heads on there, Wes. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, put their heads on there now. Too so much in a thirty-minute time. Now. It doesn't make sense unless our faces are on the bodies. Oh, the face will be on those before the night. Oh, no. They better have tattoos. Man, text it to Bill. He can do it while he hosts the show. Man, he's that good at Photoshop. I mean, <laughs> okay, come on, man. We're gonna, who is that again? This is like a project right now. We're doing. A he said that was. Oh yeah, Bill can do that. Bill got ninety different. Apps right, on this when we do, do this that. comp, let's have like some split head body, like weird thing going on. I'm I'm about it. I think. Right. Hey, I the think one thing I wanted to bring up to y'all's attention: there has been a ton of people. Look, they love a good time, but they are wanting to shig off two of the best. Well, what is something in your What is something in your arsenal that you guys are willing to kind of give up the ghost tonight? Any Any free shigging material for this group? Are they talking about Phil and Bill or me and Smitty? Well, oh, they're you definitely talking that? about you guys. I want to know theirs first. <laughs> they're definitely yeah, talking about you guys. Damn good point. <laughs> but they're looking for the Ferg and Smitty show right now. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm i trying to think of like something that's out of my ordinary. I would think what people don't 
we use a lot, which is on the circuit right now, is I mean, I'm running my sauces, man. I got new sauces out. You know what I'm saying? There you go. There They've you go. Yeah. Well. I know people running them straight on pork, doing first place pork I, right out of the box. I did see the. I did see the Facebook post. Fergie said my new sauce containers came in, and then Smitty said <laughs> mine did too. <laughs> I busted him right back with them bottles, baby. <laughs> That's what we do. That's That's what we do. That's what friends That's are for. Totally Man, Ferg, totally. it looks like you ran into a brick wall. Well, oh, shit. As soon as I try 100%, to comment. 100% <laughs> love is that comment right there. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't have said yeah. that if I didn't love the guy. But hundred you know, percent, my sauces. I mean, I'm running my sauce. Nobody's running that shit. We're all burning blues hog and a mixture of whatever it may be. Yeah. Um, but I think my my sauces are great. They're a good game changer. They're they're a different little profile. And if I happen to throw a little blues hog on it, then that's what happens. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But man, it's, man, it's an honorary exactly. quarter cup, right? Just, a, just <laughs> it's, a, it's a different base. You know that that <laughs> the base is amazing. And, but besides that. I use my products. I use some of other, I use a lot of LC and I represent uh, Philip's product in a lot of my classes. Cause not only be, is it a great product, I think he's a great dude. I love the guy. I love Carmen. I love their family. To me, I like to support people that I, I believe in that I love. I use, I've used chicken fried, your rib grind. I've used Fergie stuff. I've used like all these people that are to me, friends in this industry. And if they've worked for me and I appreciate it and I loved it. And that game over Brian has been amazing for me. I use your foul play and that butt hurt. I tell people in every class and Phil can tell you about this. Every single class we go to, I talk about your, your injections. Cause you know, I, that's what I use, man. It's amazing for me. They work for me and you're a good dude. And I love to support good motherfuckers. Man, we love you guys. Appreciate it. Smitty. Yeah, man. That's yeah, all. Good. So, so uh, next class, I want to hear a little loot and booty love there. You know what I'm saying? Fucking okay, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Well, man, this, I got to get the sauces, bro. I hadn't tried them. So, man, you already yeah. got me perked on that. Look at this. Yeah. That's right here. It's like a billion dollars. I got to find it. I'll find it right now. I'm taking 10% interest on every loan. <laughs> I'm doing barbecue man, class we, finance. We, 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 we will break it down into 25 easy payments. Exactly. <laughs> Hell yeah. We'll cut one off right now. You sign up right now. One of those motherfuckers is gone. You know, just think of it. Here is the deal. I'm, doing, I'm, starting a, I'm starting a barbecue class loan payment like chop shop. You come to school. Class, yeah, it's like layaway. Easy payments. It's exactly. I'm laying away your shit. Yeah. Hey, can I <laughs> want to be your class? Can I do layaway? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. We work with all kinds of payment plans. My baby needs diapers, but I got to go to this LC class for $17,000. So we got to do oh, something. <laughs> Man, back in the old days, they had washcloths. You just wash the shit and reuse them. Call up Smitty. Go finance your deal 10% only. Oh, shit. Oh. All right, they're on so, about uh, the sauce. Maybe. I don't know what the, yeah. I don't know what the what the question was, but I think Fergie had some. I got to answer it now. <laughs> I I often forget the question because I'm in left field. He is. He is. I'll, I got I'll the left cut. I got you left field. I'll, I'll Come on to it. <laughs> um, as far as shigging goes, I mean it's uh, you know, I mean it's not rocket science, but it, it, I think one of the things that uh, I'm very passionate about talking about, especially in my comp classes. And I've done a comp class with Phil and I've done a bunch of them with, with Smitty. So these guys know what I'm talking about, but it's not even, it's not even flavor profile related. It's not um, smoker related. It's none of that. Uh, my, my secret is uh, the psychology of what we do. And we joke about it when we say, why, why, why show up if you don't plan on winning? And I think a lot of people yeah. show up to these barbecue contests um, especially when they're at their first ones and they're, 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 uh, they're intimidated. They're nervous. Uh, they're not prepared. They haven't planned anything. And when I see those, I can spot them a mile away when I see them at the contest. And that's not a negative dig on those people, but it's like, I already know that they don't have, they don't have a chance. And it's because they're not, they haven't planned for it. Right. Like I always say, when I go to a contest, I want to be stress-free. I want to be able to relax. I know that my timeline is running itself. I can have some bevies because I'm relaxed. And then I just, I yeah, just, I just hit my marks, man. I just hit my marks and run my cook. And when you can get, when you can get to a barbecue contest and you can run your shit like that, then you become a dangerous dude, man. And, or lady. And it's like, uh, 
when you get when you get to that point in your career where you can just go roll, you know, back up your rig and just and shit just runs itself. To me, that's that's one of the biggest things you can shig off right there is just called preparation and psychology. Like yeah. I got people in my comp class to say like, oh, I was at a comp with you, but um, and you kicked our ass or whatever. We thought we turned in good food. And this is another shigging thing. When they say we thought we turned in good food and I'll, and I'll say, well, how many comps have you cooked? And they'll, they'll say some shit like eight or seven. And I'll be like, you don't even know. You don't know what good food is yet. And in this game, in KCBS or CBA or, you know, MBN, whatever you're cooking, it takes a long time to cook and understand what that actually means. You know, what, what is tenderness? What is the right tenderness? What does it feel like? What is the, what is it probe like? What's it, you know, the, 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 the flavor profiles, you know, Bill's got good stuff. Phil's got good stuff. Smitty's got stuff. I mean, everybody's got good flavors in all their products, but you got to know how to use them correctly and know what that yeah. means. And yeah. uh, when you, until you know what that means, you're, you're just turning in meat. You're just turning in stuff and you're just praying that they, it's going to score. But when you get to the point where you actually turn it in and you're like, that was some good shit right there. Like, you know, and if you cook 20 contests, that's probably going to score 17 or 18 times out of 20. And, you know, you're always going to have those outliers where it doesn't score, but you got to get, you got to get this to a point where you just run it. And, uh, that's when you start, that's when you become a dangerous person. You start winning. Yeah. I think what Fergie's talking about is like, we do a lot of fun in our classes. We talk about how awesome it is cooking. We want to talk about getting it right. But we also talk about that mentality of comp barbecue and playing the game. I mean, it's not only cooking good barbecue, it, we, we're playing a game here. We are. All of us are playing a game. And, and the game is, you know, so many facets of that. And then being in it as long as we have is, you know, we, we not only know how to cook bar good barbecue, we know how to play the game, turn in the right meat, put it, follow the system, give them what they expect kind of thing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, well, no outliers, you know, just it's, it, it's, we come to this point to where it's not like i said only cooking barbecue it, it, it is playing a game and it's knowing <clears throat> the ins and outs of the intricacies of competition barbecue and you and you learn that shit from doing it a lot and you guys have done a million of them so you kind of know what i'm talking about but those guys who haven't talked about it or don't know it is you you got to do it you got to you got to just get in that flow you got to get in and, and and know you can track your stuff and see the waves and and follow the system and, and and doing it as long as we have it and you guys know teaching too i remember an episode which is one of the, I, I talked about i talk about this in classes and i'm glad robert smith brought this up he talked about rebuilding the engine right <laughs> rebuild the you know motors that? baby yeah. rebuild the motors you know how many times fergie and i've had to rebuild this fucking motor a lot several times because we're sharing information we're we're letting people in on well, this is what we're doing this is what we're looking for and we can give people all that we can give them the base the foundation the science of barbecue but there's flavor profiles and trends and things that you got to follow and being on top of that to us is to me that's rebuilding that engine every time the the, the base of that lock's going to be there and you're going to have what you have and that's that's cooking barbecue there's always going to be modifications on that, you know, some headers or some pipes or whatever it may be. I think that's what we constantly have to do is Fergie and you, you teach a lot of classes. Both of you guys do. And you guys know that, that drill of constantly trying to be on top. And it's tough when I, I think I've switched to that role of doing 25, 25 comps a year to doing 25 classes a year now, just because it's where I am in my business, you know, what I've progressed to. But I, I mean, I still love comp barbecue. I'm gonna do that every time there's one out here. I mean, that's what I do. But I yeah. feel like we have to continue to, to I don't know. I don't want to say raise the bar, but we have to continue to stay relevant. I mean, my brand is World Championship Barbecue, veteran-owned, American-made. So I feel like I have to continue to, to test myself, you know, and 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 push myself to, to be there, to be relevant. You know, if that makes sense. Hundred percent, hundred percent. It does, man. You ain't uh, like I always used to tell Bill, man. You can't sell shakers on the couch, you know. So, wherever you're at in life, Smitty, uh, you switch to a lot, maybe more classes than comps, and that's a phase you're going through. But, man, whatever you're passionate about at that time is going to translate, you know, to whoever you're telling it to, regardless. So, yeah, for sure, 
for sure. Yes, many. There was a question you guys were talking about selling product. Um, Barbecue store wants to know if those sauces are going to be available for store purchase. Yeah, absolutely. So I work with Old World Spices as my manufacturer. They're also my distributor. So they distribute now. They're available for wholesale distribution right now from Old World Foods or Old World Spices dot com dot wholesale wholesale website. If you have a store, you can buy them wholesale right now. Fergie's yeah. uh, seasonings are available as well. Um, I know you were there, but I don't think that anymore, right, Bill? Uh, my my spy, uh, rib grind's there, but uh, yeah. game so over is just, they're right. just a co-packer. They're just a co-packer for, exactly. for, the, for the brine. Yeah. So. so, yeah, we've had the same co-packer. They're available right now. They're out. They're available for a wholesale purchase. Um, on the shelves, uh, Shields, we're working on Ace. They're available at LutonBootyBarbecue.com 24 hours a day right now. If you buy it right now, I'll get off this podcast and go pack your order and then come back. Right. Actually won't, but you know, it was a good thought. <laughs> <laughs> Here, let me let me answer this uh, question that just popped up about injecting chicken <clears throat> that's been cooked. I, I do not. I've done it before, I've messed with it, but I do not. I don't either. I think I don't at that time I use you know, his um, LC barbecue foul play. And I've been messing around with that game changer, uh, Brian, which I love. <laughs> game I over. Don't think, I don't think after that it needs anything else. I don't think the way if you cook it right, it doesn't need an extra anything. You know what I'm saying? Man, I don't re inject. Yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't either. I don't. To me, it's just an extra step. It's uh, something else yeah. I have to clean. You know, I hate dishes. So I don't want to do extra steps to make me clean dishes and like all these injectors and all this stuff. And keep it simple. Yeah. Just keep it simple. Keep it simple. Keep it easy and clean, you know. But hey, if you want to try that and do it, I I suggest this is what I suggest. You do it and turn it in and see how the judges like it. And go from there. <laughs> we got Kit Pokes, Kit Pokes Bastard, Bastard Son. son. <laughs> 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 What's my dad running on his chicken? Is that Bill the Grill? <laughs> Who's Kit Pogue's bastard's son? I want to know. I have no that. idea, but that's great. <laughs> that's the best. Check out check out uh, our boy Ron from uh, Costa Rica. Look what he said. Old star chicken, baby. All our students in Costa Rica competed after class, and they all had calls. That's it. That's all we do. We want to teach. We want to spread love. Everybody got good information, and they had a good time, you know? I, think hey, I guarantee you, Kit time. runs a different chicken every week. Kit's always running a different chicken every week. He runs into my trailer and he goes up, over. Yeah. Yo, yeah, I found these good. legs at some secondhand market. You know, I just oh, had to pull out a dollar score general. Pretty good. Yeah. H-E- yeah. H-E-B had a sale going on. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Smart mm-hmm. final. There hey, sir, do you, mind, um, do you mind jumping on this one? We had this ass earlier in the show, and they were talking about Costa Rica finding beef there. Uh what do you got? You bringing in, shipping in your meat? Uh, you you know when you think about the meat down in that area? No, we um, <laughs> we went to the uh, Costa Rican Costco and uh, we did. They Tell had first. What was it called, Fergie? Or was uh, it Costco? Costco? No, I don't remember what it was called. Actually, we Costco. were tailgating. We were tailgating. It was, Costco. It was not. Called it was Costa Co. Costa Co. El Costo. <laughs> Oh, we were <laughs> put an L in front of it. Yeah, we were, we're back on that shared back on that shared liver. We're not really sure. <laughs> hey, I don't know if you guys have ever tailgated in a parking lot of a Costco um, to pick up meat, but we did, and we were drinking yeah. imperial beer in the parking lot of this Costa Rican Costco, and then we went in and bought ribs there, and they had uh, a name brand which I'm not going to mention on the show, but uh, we uh, they we were nice it, ribs. They were nice ribs. They were nice ribs. Um, We got chicken wings. Yeah, we got some other stuff there. And then they got us the brisket and uh, the pork and the chicken. And um, uh, the brisket, the brisket was not, um, that was a rough one. Let's not say good. Let's not say, you know, the cow was the cow. We can't help the cow, right? It was a very active cow. Like it was running for its life all its life. It was very lean. Man, this one wasn't being (laughs) massaged and and fed beer down its throat while it laid on the couch. I'm not sure if she's seen one. Didn't have an ounce of that. She got beat in the backyard for not producing milk, probably. Hey, let's just say this. (laughs) Dairy cow. 
We Let's just say this. Dairy cow. We were we were at Aaron and he's on here watching, but we were at his parents' house, which was awesome. And we trimmed and injected and did all our stuff there in in this back like uh, hangout area, which was so cool. And his mom and dad are awesome. And uh, I'm trimming the brisket up, and I just look over at Spinny. He looks at me and he goes, "Good luck on that brisket, man." I was like, <laughs> I'm glad I got chicken and pork. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? I will tell you. I called him Copperfield, David Copperfield, all that, because he magi- he like magic man that fucking brisket. It was tender. It had the bend put in the box, and you know what? It ate and it ate. And I was like, "Jew, bro." You made that brisket something that I've could never thought it could be. So kudos to Ferg A to killing the shit out of that brisket. He did a great job. I think Ferg, don't you have a brisket video coming on the barbecue league as well? Has that been released yet or no? Uh no, not yet. Um actually our our videographer, um, I just did the tailgate guy show earlier yeah, today and um Tariq, our boy Tariq, you guys have probably all met him. Um Unfortunately, he's been in the hospital for a while. He got sick, pretty, pretty sick, and it was pretty bad. Um, and uh, actually, I just got to talk to him for the first time today. They took the took a tube out, and uh, so we haven't. But the video was done. And he sent it to Brad, and and Brad already already gave it the green light. So maybe Brad has it, and he's just waiting to drop it. But um, yeah, it's ready to roll, man. It was we shot that in in September, and and uh, it's it's actually me at a comp here in Kansas, so. Um, the comp which I GC'd, but uh, yeah, that should be coming out pretty soon. It's been good a long timing. Time. What's that? Good timing. Yeah, it was good timing. Yeah. So you know, there's a I boy blazing a stars in the time. house. There's Mike. Mikey Mike, my homie. Mikey Mike. Yeah, I'll be with him. I'll be with him this weekend in Colorado. That's right. Are you sharing yeah. the same bed? See, he just said no. <laughs> so y'all can join twins too. Do you remove oh, yourself dude. and then I join him with like transformer, like in with somebody another? <laughs> you know, take off of my body and then you join your head on somebody else's body. <laughs> and I like how he nailed the color too. Man, it looks oh, just like red. y'all. Hey, <laughs> that's a I got that sense of you, man. I, I, we have some damn good uh, followers up here, but Scott Carlisle sent that to me, so. Thank you, Scott. Oh, I appreciate God. it. Man, that's awesome. I that's wish we could best. have, like, you know, promoted the show with conjoined twins that Ferg <laughs> and Smitty, Smitty are going to be on the show. I feel like more people would have watched if no, 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 with no, the no. conjoined. Everybody, just I think wait got, to like, conjoin a the Q order. comes to a, a, a competition <laughs> near you. Hey, Wes, exactly. <laughs> hey, Wes, send me that picture because every class we do from now on, I'm going to put that on the on the flyer. It might need a few touch-ups. It might need a few touch-ups. Man, I, I, Bill's I over there crawling in his feet going, give me that thing for five minutes. I'll show you a real photo. LMB BBQ Enterprises is not approved. What you got to do is get a picture of that movie – uh, stuck stuck on you with uh, Matt Damon and oh my god, oh, god. and get a picture yes. of that and put our faces on that oh. one. That'll be perfect. Mm. <laughs> All you gotta do is ask this crew, and they're on it, man. They they Scott was on it yeah. quick. So. We'll probably have wrong. it here in the next. Five we have minutes. a lot of like savants in this crew. Like barbecue's full of so many like underground talents that we don't even know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> If we all get together from hey, the earth. You get like, from the earth. Yeah. Hey, it's underground I mean, from the earth. There is a chair out there to put that in ink on one of you boys. We're gonna, Smitty, we're gonna put you. that in ink. I told you I've been writing rap songs, man. I've been writing rap songs. No, no, I've heard Fergie's rap songs. AI writes oh. his rap songs. He does. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Hey, did you so, did, yeah. did you boys get any new ink lately? Them. You put Ferg? like seven. Yep. Oh yeah, here. Costa what do what do you guys got? The crowd wants to know what the new ink is. Show us. Oh shit, man! West, make them big Costa on the screen. I don't know how to do that. I got a Costa Rica flag. Right okay, right on, right on. Fergie got um, a guy's name on his butt. Pure, pure vibe. <laughs> what does that pure, say? Pure, pure vida. vida. Pure vibes. Pure, oh, pure, pure life. Pure life. Man, it says Costco. It says Costco in Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> it says reserve grand champion. Costco in Spanish. <laughs> El Costco. And then I just got this one in uh, Boise. What's that say? It says uh, confident, not, not from cocky. Boise. Confident, mm. not cocky. My dad used to know. say I, it all the time. I beg different. 
Hey, the next one coming on your back, though, is going to be this. We gotta go. <laughs> Man, we expect a full back piece. <laughs> I want a lower back. Lower back. I want, I want a Fergie booty t shirt on that <laughs> fucking beast, that Demogorgon <laughs> looking motherfucker with like a Fergie booty. I've been to the Jack t shirt. We're going to work it out. Set it off. It's going to get better. <laughs> there be like, how many holes do you put in that motherfucker? How do you even put it on? <laughs> <laughs> put it back up. Now I got to look at that. Put it back uh, up. Exactly. How do you, would you put that now on? you want to do math? Oh my God. Yeah. Shit. Now, how are they going to get a t shirt on? You need to <laughs> sew up the one in the middle. They need to come through the sleeves, and you do, need to drop some more sleeves it's in the tennis. middle, right below the sleeves. Perfect. Uh, it's, Mike Starr said mean, it's a spatchcock. I don't know about I don't know it's about a spatchcock. <laughs> spatchcock. It is butterfly. Uh, you could be spatchcock <laughs> barbecue. That's another team name, but conjoined. Conjoin Q is leading the way kind in the poll. Got to be conjoined Q, man. It has like to. But yes, you can make it a tramp stamp. I mean, just do it right lower back and have it wrap around your love handles a little bit. Cool. We're good. Love. <laughs> man, and it, the team name's probably open in Arizona and Kansas. Man, I'm pretty sure it's taken in Mississippi, but y'all states are clear. Yes, exactly. Uh, I, <laughs> I think it's yeah, hard right now. Yeah, can't take that in Mississippi. I'm, I'm pretty sure Wes has probably lost right. to him, too. Hey, Wes, Wes, oh, give us the line. Nice hey, bro. That is so low. I, Wes, I, give us the Mississippi KP line. We love it. I, I'm going to – now, uh, before I say that, I'm going to have that as uh, – Before I say that. Voiceover so we can just punch it up. We'll take care of that. The oh, only guy right. out Mississippi, a Mississippi man. <laughs> right, exactly. Out Mississippi, a Mississippi man. And that's hard to do. It's get pulled, for sure. I know – Bro, I used to live in Picayune and Louisville, Mississippi. No, you did not. Yes, sir. I was born. Really? In yeah. The I hell were you doing over here? I was born. I was joined the Navy, and then after the Navy, I was like, you know what? I don't. He have was to learning. I'm a cousin anymore. <laughs> I can live on the west side. There's other people. <laughs> so absolutely. I, so no, no, no. I just. All right, I think Navy. you boys have man. This the whole ch conjoined queue has taken off. This thing has become a life of its own. So uh, somebody's already made T-shirts. <laughs> it is yeah, going to, this thing is going available to, online no later. Fergie, Fergie, you, you better get a trademark. See, we <laughs> have at least like seven hundred dollars in donations. We got to get some sort of royalty. <laughs> <laughs> like, schedule one next Tuesday, and then we don't got to do comps anymore. All we got to do is talk shit and the royalties. We GC every Tuesday. <laughs> I hate to, I hate to tell you, boys, but there, can out. Only be, there can only be one GC on a Tuesday. I hate to say it, you know. I bet you. I know. I mean, we got feels over show. here. <laughs> oh, it's getting right. more and more on the KCBS side, man. We're talking I'm just business telling you. right here. Business. <laughs> Bill <laughs> said, "I'm gonna share." But I'm gonna invest it first. <laughs> yeah, right, exactly. I'll see you in 14 years. <laughs> Your share is 37 dollars. <laughs> we'll chop it up for sure. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah, do it February 30th. This is gonna be the uh, distribution date. Right. Yeah. If anybody yeah. knows there is on February 30th, so you're saying, "What the hell?" <laughs> Uh, Man, awesome guys, we're, we're just over an hour. We've got lots of people that have donated. We're going to stay on for a backstage, so I'll probably close this down, and we can continue on backstage. Uh, man, backstage. I think there's going to be several people. Yeah, backstage. backstage. So what happens with the backstage is we end the live feed, and then we all just stay on, and then, man, it lets like 10 or 12 people in. So, uh -huh. uh, man, it'll be, you know, Fred may jump in there. Damn Yankees sometimes jumps in. So, uh hey. Man, and I, jumped who's in. like who's who's the doorman here? I'm the doorman on the back. He's the doorman. He's the doorman. No, I don't control the door. I mean, who's so, got the uh, door? Bill's the I'm doorman. Just, anybody in this I'm motherfucker? You know, I look at the donations. I look at the donations. Oh, and if, I man, like if that. They, okay. If they like made it. a decent, significant of donations, they get in back to talk to Phil, talk to you, talk yeah. to Ferg. I have a question. Hey, hey, the, Smitty, the, this the is a velvet rope kind of show, man. Yeah. We got to open the velvet rope. So behind the door, can I like... I'm already getting messages wanting people activities. coming in backstage. 
So you know what I'm saying, oh, you want to hit us with a little activities. with a little closing music, Wes, or what? Absolutely. All right, boys. I had fun. Seriously, y'all y'all brought it this week for sure. Love the show. Thanks, guys. My son. Hey, well, hey, well, I will want to say real quick. <laughs> real quick. Later. Later. Rick, fuck off.